New here, right? There's no elementals. Katuni is kind of mediocre. Actually, Katuni is pretty good in this meta. Um, New Hero has insane win rate. But I think it's bugged on H's replay. Okay, I'll try the other curve on the New Hero. I'll go discover first and then level afterwards, okay? I'll go for the options again. So it's zero gold hero power. You play it for free. We have cat start. Nice. You start on the cats and you play, you, you play this. And it says, in one turn, give your leftmost minion to attack. You almost never should pick this early game. Unless it helps you curve out. In three turns, discover a minion. In five turns, upgrade your tavern tier. We go discover. I went upgrade the first time. And it leveled me from four to five, which is pretty good. But apparently, if you pick discover into upgrade, it levels you from five to six. And that, that sounds sexier. Because it's 10G. Like, this hero just gives you 10 gold. It's freaking insane. I love the Katoon skin. The Katoon skin is not in-game yet. It's gonna be a future skin. Your opponent, did he just leave? Or is his name your opponent? I think his name is just your opponent. So discover in two turns. Um, I think I will level up here. And then I will uh, freeze. Actually, I'm not gonna freeze. I'm gonna like wait a bit. I, I don't know if I should level or not. I'm not sure if I... Like, I kind of want to level. If I level next turn, it gives me a free drop. You should level, right? To get a free drop. The discover minion is from the current tavern tier. Yes, when the turn starts. So it says two left. Next I need to say one left. So I have to level if I want to cash out on my free drop. You can just play normally or level whatever you want. I mean, these minions are garbage. I'm gonna level. So look, next time I get the prize and I get my discover a free drop. And then I want to play so that in 5 turns I level for free. And then in 5 turns I need to be Tavern 5, ideally. Um, Quill Borelli's Murlocs are the bans. This hero is interesting. Can you hover over the hero power a little bit longer? I hovered it the maximum amount of time, I reached here, it out. What do you mean? They just go on their website on the news section, you have all the free hero powers that the hero has. It's the only new change. But it's easier to see them on the website than see them in game. I'll take Warden. And I'll take Deflector Boy. Pocket change. I think I wanna go Gachi. Or Big Banana. Banana my Deflecto. Now I'll go Gachi. Swabby. Mommy is good, because it resets it. And now, I want to go level. Is that crazy? Or do I pick Discover again? So, turn 7 is 10 gold turn. Turn 9, level. It seems late. Level, okay. So now I just play it safe, right? I just play it safe and in 5 turns it levels me. I start max, but I don't think I want to end this max. Dragons, Beast, Pirates are in. I feel like I'm just setting myself short just going max. Can I mouse over my hero power? Guys, check the website for the hero power, please. This is like one of three choices. Mousing over it doesn't help. It's not like a simple hero power. I could go up to 4 now. People don't know how to Google. I mean, Blizzard was pretty secret about this patch. They only posted about it on their website. But it's understandable with what's going on. Level next turn. I mean, I want the Warden and I'm thinking about coining and selling Alicat to level. On 4 you just find better stuff. Look, I'll find, I'll manually find you the link where it shows all the options of the hero power, okay? If one of my, mo my moderators has the time, please make a command. Don't we have like exclamation mark patch or something? I should have done a review or something of this. Oh, we do have it. Yeah, just... Exclamation mark patch is the first thing. Balgans update new hero. And you can see all the three options that the hero power has. 
it's just easier than me showing them, I think. I mean, I'm pretty sure it is. I like this, and I like this. My, do I just buy selfless? Or later? It's probably better than rolling in the deep. Three turns left until the, the thing. So I kind of want to stay a turn on four, right? I don't want to go to five. Yeah, leveling one turn before heal power hits is the best. And nicely enough, one turn before heal power hits is exactly on price turn. Money, money, money. If I win the fight, it's better that I got the money, but otherwise I would have preferred the, the spawn. But I don't know if I win anyways. It shouldn't matter, right? But do I win anyways? Doesn't look like it. Ah, it looks like it. Never mind. It's at least a tie. I'm gonna keep my coins for when I go to 5 and to 6. I want to go crazy, okay? Maybe Macau is not the best if you put uh, menace on it. This minion will serve you well. What a pathetic servant that was. I mean, I want to play for stats. That's why I'm spending my coins. Playing for stats is a high prior, pretty. I definitely want to go to six. Like next turn five, turn after it's putting me on six. Galakron doesn't seem that strong. Basically, he has a bunch of fire. Pretty lucky fight, and without menace, I would have lost. Oh yeah, this hero seems nuts. So far. I still don't know what's the best proper curve to play on him. No Battlecrest Tigger twice discover. Oh, I can discover Lizzie. Holy shit. Woo! Okay, chat, we have a direction. Direction win. That is my direction. I don't need Mama Bear. I'm playing Pirate. Wow. I think Module is not needed. By fate or fortune. I think Light Fang is needed. Double Light Fang. Ah, eh, we might as well just keep module. It's a nice freeze. And next time my hero power is just putting me on six. It's pretty strong. And then I go for discover, right? Because probably the game is gonna last four more turns.
I think Rakan issue has a small issue. Hmm. Did I get lucky? Not particularly. And now nine gold for free. Three times for prizes, I can go discovery. It lines with the prize. Do you buy Scally? You probably do buy Scally. But buying Scally on six feels so wrong. Now you kick the mommy for Scally. In some waves. This setup is decent enough. The life are not amazing, they only triple buff. But it's good enough to win for now. Okay, let me show you the hero power for those that don't, don't, that don't want to Google. So, in one turn, give plus two attack, in three turns, discover, or in five turns, level. Early game, you either want to go discover into level or level into discover, is what I tried so far, and it works wonders. I still think I can get away with uh, this. Because I'm 37 health and it lines up with the prize. I, I pick the left one when I don't think the game is going to last 3 more turns. That's about it. That's how I look You're at it. Them. Burn them to cinders. I even play module on rover because I'm not sure if I want to module rover. Maybe I'll get a dawn and I'll want to module the dawn. It wasn't a mistake. I just feel like I'm strong enough to do a play like this. It might cost you the fight. Or it might not. And I don't care if I lose a fight. I'm 37 health. Health is a resource. I like Jug, but I don't think I want to buy Jug on 6. I'm doing too well to buy Jug. I'll buy second Selfless, because tripling Selfless is never bad. I'm not, I'm not upgrading, I'm not evolving. LF out. I mean, my hero power so far gave me... Um, a free drop, and it gave me nine gold leveling. That sounds pretty insane. That sounds like a lot of value, which a lot of other heroes don't do. Matter of fact, very few heroes give you that much. Next turn, prize and discover. I don't really want Murzond. Bran is good for when I get Amalga. I'll buy the Jug. I kind of like Faceless. Nothing scares me, except mice. I'm gonna sell Light Fang plus a mech, and then go Bran, Amalgadon, Jug. Also, like, Light Fang can be tripled. Life can be tripled. I can like sell Deflector, Tavern Gore to triple Life Fang, 
and then go Bran, Jug, maybe Dawn, and then play the Light Fang. Plenty of plays. Kind of bad start. Can the Volpon Light Fang, maybe? I got greedy for a sec. Plays. Oh my god, it I was quite favored. No taking that much, it's fine. And this turn is gonna be the nuts. Oh four secured. Let's play to win. I'll get my dawn. And I'll get my prize. Has to be divine shield. New hero power was decent, but has to be divine shield there. I don't want to table deflect though. The time is now. I don't want another tavern goer. The time is now. Hire these minions or burn. I don't think I want to table the dawn. I want to just buy it. My patience is dwindling. Hire insect. Getting a lot of value here. Ragnaros seems more chatative than Bob. I mean, he has to. In order for him to impress us, uh, I think he needs to be very talkative. Very choppy. Otherwise, how is he gonna make an impression? Is this enough? Badly. Eudora is naughty. I feel like two attack is worthless. I should have probably still picked uh, Discovery. Just in case the game goes that long. Should have picked Discovery. Like three attack two attack is just worthless. I wonder if we need scalability. I kind of like a left more than Adina. Byron is insane. This way we triple Baron and we get module. It sounds good to me. Like, can you get better than this? I'm not even sure what I can do. This 
This guy has block. Nice positioning. Yeah, I should have positioned Warden to take the cleave. Because then I would get enough divine shields to make up for it anyway. But guess what? I probably still win. Uh, but yeah, Warden receiving the cleave would have been proper positioning. This game is definitely lasting three more turns. I'm worried about like what my opponents can build. I have no scalability. That's my issue here. Maybe the game doesn't go that long, huh? I think I want to play Life Tank now. This Baron wins anyways. Do I try to triple it? Or is it pointless? I mean, what else am I going to try to do? That minion shall usher in a new era of your burning domination. Yeah, Runner was talks a bit too much. Mr. Bartender, let me with my own thoughts. Maybe you sell Eliza and you keep the LF. I don't even know. I like the scalability. If I can triple LF, I will keep it over Lizzie. Squelch your Bartender. I do not think that's an option. Maybe they should give you a $5 option to squelch Bartender. Lolul. Stats also said Goof is the best hero when he was released. Um, Goof was the best hero. He got hard nerfed. If he wouldn't get nerfed, he would still be the best hero. Double Great Wolf is pretty high rolly. But we have at least he has no mama to buff the rats further. And easy can carry. One turn until we go cray. Like, I kind of want to kick Eliza and play my Baron. Or do you do you go max power? You buy tower and go or kick Light Fang for Baron? And then if you see another Light Fang, you triple it instead of playing with Eliza. Yeah. Grow big or grow legs, I always say. Hmm. Interesting. Now I'm protected from his cleave. I'm super protected. Worst is if he cleaves here, then Lizzie dies. Cleave here is perfect. Uh, this looks good. I don't know if we can lose. I want to I wanna beat Mutanus before the next set of prizes. Even though I also get the discovery with the next set of prizes, I just want the game to end now because why not? You always should want the, end, the game to end quickly. You're crushing them. Burn them to cinders. Oh, he has ice block. Forgot about block. Okay, so the game doesn't end no matter what. Big Amagadon doesn't matter. We have poison. Oh, this is gonna delay. Nice. Max Divine Shields. Problem is the prize might give my opponent something. But I'm so far ahead. I think as long as I don't do anything stupid, I should always win. What, what do you think, Chad? Like, look how dominating this was. This hero is just slapping. I know it's early to call it, but this might be like one of the best heroes ever made. Okay, maybe it's too early. Holy. Victory for the Tiki Lord! And my friend, of course. Now I get my prize. 
Big Wiener. Make a friendly minion golden. Do I just make golden Light Fang to have some scalability? Or golden Eliza? Probably price of each. New recruit. Time Thief. I don't want to Time Thief. Divine. New heal power. This way I'm fully protected. Maximum protection. Buying the selfless on my opponent cannot get it. No pick, whatever. So these are the hero power options for those that missed it. You almost never pick the left. It's middle and the right that are naughty. I lose to Zap. Outstanding. Lose. Pretty sure I don't need Baron to win. But yeah, Zap makes me slightly weaker. Wow, that actually played against him. I need the Selfless to just not go into Baron. And I think I just straight up win. Stats don't matter if I have poison. Like, that's the best thing about stats. They matter until they don't. If that makes sense. Nice. Yeah, this hero is just busted. Like, look at how I won the game with, like, a handful, plenty of options. Like, it gives you discoveries, it gives you a very important level. For like 9 gold. Insane hero. Insane.